Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So I know it's been forever since my last haul. I'm sorry, I've just been busy crying over rapper JK and writing Jcook fic and playing BTS World as one does, but I think it's about time to get my life together and to revive this channel from the dead. So what better way to do that than to open all the mail that's been sitting here neglected for over a month. I think there's about 20 packages, including a few trades, as well as what I got from the BTS exhibition that I went to in New York. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I got. And oh, by the way, I recently hit 10k and just wanted to thank you all so much for subscribing to my mediocre channel. I know you guys have been starving for content. I only put out like one video a month. So to thank you guys for your patience and all your support, I want to do a 10k giveaway. So yeah, stay tuned till the end of the video for more details on that. And without further ado, let's get straight into this haul. I'm going to start off with the trades first and then work my way to the biggest packages. Okay, so here are all the trades that I've done over the past month. Not a lot because a lot of the new releases that I've bought are still in those packages unopened. So after this video, I'm going to have a lot of trading to do. So as always, check the description for my Twitter and yeah, we can get to trading. But first, let me open all the trades that I've already done. So let's start off with this one first so yeah let me just get my scissors oh look at that that's so cute okay so i know what this is because the 17 washi tape gives it away by the way i know a lot of people say that the way i open these envelopes give them like anxiety and stress and i'm sorry for that i do feel for where the photo card will be and i make sure not to cut through that only once have i ever cut through like a note but i've never once cut a photo card so i am careful i promise even though it looks like i'm just tearing these to shreds but yeah like i can tell that it's gonna be down here so i'm just gonna like cut through this with my scissors so yeah i'm sorry guys <laughs> Okay, let's see. Oh, there's a note. Okay, this is so cute. Wow, that's so adorable. So yeah, let's see. Thank you so much for trading with me. I hope Mingyu's paddle made it to you safely. I love watching your videos on YouTube. Please continue with them. I look forward to every time you upload. Please, Jennifer, I love you. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. Like, I've been looking for someone to trade for Mingyu's paddle forever like and she came across one of my oldest videos like a sale video that totally flopped <laughs> and oh, no stop <laughs> okay I feel horrible because I like I never really have freebies to give out and you're spoiling me with these precious little BTS ones and 17 I love it thank you so much you're so sweet like I love these I'll decorate my binder with these I promise I'll put them to good use. And so here's the paddle. So yeah, let me just get that open. Okay, so here's the paddle. And yeah, on the back it just says Mingyu. So for 17, I only collect Mingyu and June. They're kind of like a double bias. Cause yeah, I really can't like rank these two. I love them both to pieces. Okay, so let's open this one, and oh my gosh, if this is what I think it is, I'm gonna have a mini heart attack, so don't mind me. Okay, oh my gosh, my heart is beating so fast, like I can't explain why, but oh my lord, <laughs> no, this is my favorite photo card, hold on, let me just get this out. No, this is so cute. Okay, so first up, let's just take a look at this freebie and you know, look how cute they look. I think this was from a summer package. I can't be sure, but yeah, very cute. Thank you so much. And yeah, so this is my all-time favorite Jungkook photo card or just my favorite photo card ever. In case you're wondering, like look at his smile. Like how precious can one person be? Like, I would take a bullet for him. You guys don't understand. Like, look at his eyes, too. Like, when his eyes smile and he has, like, these little stars in his eyes. I can't. I literally cannot. <laughs> I swear. There's nothing like seeing your body smile. Like, sex is great and all, but nothing compares to this. <laughs> so, anyways, um, yeah. Thank you so much for trading. I don't think this person watches my videos, but thank you anyways. 
So yeah, let's just continue before I lose my goddamn mind over a photo card. So yeah, let's open this one next. Okay, so let's get it out. Oh my gosh. No, stop. Why do people continue to spoil me with freebies when I'm literally the worst at like packaging and sending off cute things? Like, look how cute that is. I love this. I probably should have like a separate binder for like all the cute freebies that everyone sends me because I don't know what to do with them all. I love this card. Oh my gosh, stop. Ooh, I love Young Forever. And Bunny, he's so cute. And then we got Namjoon, looking beautiful as always. Oh my gosh, shut up. V with red hair and a bandana, a look. And then, of course, Worldwide Handsome. I love these so much. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so let me just put these aside. And let's take a look at the photo card now. Okay, so yeah, this is Jungkook's Love Yourself in Europe photo card, and I love it so much. So cute. I just recently watched the Europe DVD, and I don't know, it made me so sad that he couldn't perform. Like, okay, I'm not even going to get into it because I was so sad watching that, but I'm so happy that he recovered and he healed and he's performing better than ever now. So yeah, thank you so much though for the trade. I'm so happy that I finally completed my Jungkook um, Love Yourself in Europe and New York photo card collection. So yeah, let me move that aside. And then last trade, oh my gosh, I know who this is from. This is from It's Rita. Oop, wow. Oh my gosh. You send so many freebies. Oh my gosh, I love you for this. Wow, I mean, I love you anyways, but look at these. Stop, you guys know the way to my heart. Just send me pictures of BTS and Jungkook and I'm all yours. <laughs> so yeah, this is our trade. So, so excited for this and look how cutely she decorated. She's so artsy, like, oh my gosh, she does like the cutest journal spreads, like K-pop journal spreads. You guys should all subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. It's, it's Rita. And yeah, I just love her. And you know, let's read her note. So she just wrote, Wife, thanks so much for trading with me. I'm happy JK is going home to you. Watch over him well, Rita. Aw, you already know that I'm going to take good care of him. So you don't have to worry about that. And I'm just glad that Namjoon made it to you safely because, um, yeah, that's who we traded for. So yeah, let me just get this open so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I'm going to do this off camera because I can't risk cutting into this. So just give me a second. Okay, so here it is. So we traded for the BTS Love Yourself in Seoul posters, and I pulled Namjoon originally, and she pulled Jungkook, so that's who we traded for. Namjoon is one of her two biases, along with Jimin. So yeah, I was so happy that she agreed to trade with me because originally she wasn't even planning on trading these until like I bugged her. So thank you, Rita. <laughs> I'm sorry for being annoying, but I just had to have this in my life, and they're just so rare, and well not rare but like expensive and it's just i didn't want to have to spend money on it if i could trade so yeah super grateful we're officially like bts um dealers as we call it so anytime in the future if i pull jimin or um namjoon then it's going straight to her without a doubt so yeah Okay, so that's it for the trade portion of this haul. So now we're going to move on to all the BTS goods that I got at the BTS exhibition. So yeah, let me clear this up so that we can take a look at that. Okay, so this is everything that I got at the exhibition. And I know it doesn't look a lot, but trust me, it's a lot. I definitely splurged and spent way more than I anticipated, but what's new? <laughs> so anyways, um, this is the little booklet that they give you when you're waiting online. So yeah, that's where it's located in Brooklyn. So I went on the 22nd, I took my friend who's not an ARMY but she's slowly getting into BTS's music and yeah I can't wait till like she picks a bias and everything, <laughs> it's just gonna be so much fun. I feel like she's gonna fall for Jimin but we'll see, I'll keep you guys posted but yeah just doing God's work by spreading BTS's music so yeah that's the 
exhibition period in New York. So it's only going till July 11th. So definitely check it out if you're nearby. It's so worth going. I think it's like only like 30 to $40. And yeah, here's a map of the entire floor. So yeah, it takes like a look through all the different time periods that you can see. BTS Begins, Dope, Young Forever. So it was so much fun. And yeah, at the end you could like, uh, put these stamps here and see, like write a letter and put it in a time capsule. So yeah, a lot of fun. Definitely recommend going um, if you have the chance. And then they give you this order sheet. So these are all the things that they were selling. So they had a t-shirt, which is $40, uh, the photo card sets, a postcard book, posters. So yeah, keychains, pens, notebooks, stationery, a bunch of stickers. So you would just mark off the ones that you want for like all their albums. And then in the back, so I went during season two. So the seasons are like for like the different um, photos that they do, the live photos. So there's season one, two, and three. So I feel like now if you go, it would probably be season three. And yeah, you just mark up the ones that you want. They were like $2 each. So yeah, let me just show you guys what I got now. So let's start off with this. So I got Jungkook's poster. Um, at first I thought that they were selling like the entire poster set with all seven of them. I would have been so happy if that was the case, but I just decided to go with his. Okay. You know what? I'm too lazy to open it right now, but yeah, I'll probably insert a picture of what it looks like. <laughs> So next I got the keychain and I got the one with their picture. So yep, 027. Let's see if I can open it. So yeah, it's really cute. They had one with the exhibition logo, like with those letterings on it, but yeah, I liked this one and because for the Love Yourself, or no, sorry, Speak Yourself tour, I got Jungkook's keychain and they didn't have like an OT7 one, so I'm happy to finally have an OT7 keychain. Okay, and then next up, let's take a look at the live photos that I got. So let me just get that open. Alright, so if you guys have seen some of my previous hauls, you probably saw that I already own all of Jungkook's live photo sets. I just bought the whole set on eBay one time, so I have seasons 1, 2, and 3 already. But I had to get his season 2 again because they're my favorite photos. And yeah, the backs are just plain. So I decided to get them again because I want to actually put them like in frames, like in my room. Whereas like I keep the uh, original set that I got in my binder. So yeah, so happy. I love this picture from Euphoria. And then the one with the finger heart, this is so precious. So yeah, that's why I got them because like I said, they're my favorite photos and I thought it'd be cute to actually be able to put some of them up in my room. And then I love this photo shoot too. He looks so cute. So yeah. And then because I don't have um, any of the photos for any of the other members, I decided to get like one of my favorite from like each of the sets. So for V, I got this one because he has the cutest smile and I love it when he puts up the peace sign. I love it when they all do the peace sign. So yeah, I got Jimin's one like that too because again, cute smile and it's from Young Forever. So had to get that as it's my favorite music video. Then I got Hobie's Blood, Sweat, and Tears just because he looks so good with orange hair and yeah, love that music video. And then Jin's, this is so cute. I love his yellow sweater. So I was actually telling my friend to help me like choose because I'm so bad at like picking out like a favorite for anything. So yeah, she helped me pick some of these out because I'm really indecisive. And this is the Yungi one that I went with. Very cute. He rarely smiles <laughs> like in pictures. So the fact that he's smiling in this one and he has blue hair, like please. So got that one. And then lastly, I got Namjoon's again with the peace sign. It's just so cute. So I'm really happy that now I have at least one picture for each member, as well as Jungkook's um, season two set. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just speed through the rest of the stuff because I just got the photo frames, the postcard sets, and the book. So yeah, I, I want to show you guys all the pictures, so I don't want to talk through it. So we're going to kind of speed this up or mute me and just play music in the background so that we can get through it faster. So yeah.
Okay, and then lastly, I got the exhibition book. So, yeah, there's the back. So let me get that open. I kind of tore this pretty badly the first time. Like, see, I hate myself for that. But, I'll get this out. So there it is. So, essentially what the book is, it's just like a collection of postcards of um, each of the members. But there's two pictures for each of them. So we start off with Namjoon. And yeah, as you can see, like it looks really thick, but that's just because the quality of the postcards are really thick. So I think they're meant to be torn out, but I'm just going to keep them in the book. But yeah, because I wouldn't even know where to put these. They're so pretty though. I mean, I just like to flip through it though. So yeah, this was pretty affordable. I think it was like $28, but considering you're getting two pictures of each member, like, this would be a good thing to get if you're just going to get, like, one item. Oop. Sorry. I made that crack sound, and oh my gosh. Gotta be careful, because I don't want these to tear. Okay. V. I love his hair. Like, brown and wavy. And Jungkook. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, that was the book and that was everything that I got at the exhibition. Okay, so moving along to the smaller packages that I got. So I'm just going to open them randomly. So yeah, let's start off with this one. Okay, have no idea what this is. I mean, I can tell it's a photo card, but I forget which ones I purchased recently. Or not recently, like a month ago, but... <laughs> Yeah, let me get that open off camera because it looks like a mess to get out, so just a second. Okay, so that actually wasn't hard to open at all. I just cut it from here and it looks like I can just slide the photo card out. So, oh my gosh, yes. So I finally completed my Jungle Glove Yourself um, DVD photo card. So this is the one for Seoul. And yeah, I totally forgot that I haven't unboxed this already just because I ordered it so long ago. But there it is. And yeah, I really, really loved his red hair and the stage for Euphoria. I'll never get over it. And there's the back. Come on, focus. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, forget it. But yeah, so there's his Love Yourself and Soul photo card. So happy to have completed that. So now I can go with the Holy Trinity of photo cards. Actually, let's just take a look at them all again one more time. So yeah, we got his Love Yourself in Seoul photo card, Love Yourself in New York, and Love Yourself in Europe. So yeah, so, so happy. And then of course I got the poster. So yeah, I'm just really happy. This has been such a BTS haul so far and nothing could make me more happier. All right, so moving on to the next package. Let me just get that open. god you guys these are so pretty like wow they look so much more prettier in person because i mean i fell in love with these designs when she revealed them a while ago but yeah this is actually by the bts fan artist uh renka or that's what she goes by at least and i follow her on twitter but she also has an instagram account so you can follow her there as well and then she also has a gmail so I met her at Anime NYC and I bought a ton of her prints then and I usually just buy them whenever I can because I love decorating my walls with her work. They're so pretty. She has such a unique style. If you've seen my room tour, you'll see that I have her uh, posters hanging on my wall and I have some of her prints like decorating my photo card binders. They're just gorgeous. So as you can see, this is like a Jungkook inspired um, print so we have euphoria and seesaw and when you put them together it makes a seesaw and yeah there she signed it both of them so pretty i love these so much so i had to get them both and i actually ordered some more of her work because uh for her festa she did an ot7 inspired um print and it's just so pretty it's actually like a hol holographic one of C so loved it so much I had to buy that and then 
while I was at it, I ordered some more prints of hers. So hopefully those will be arriving soon. But yeah, definitely follow her. So yeah, I'll leave that there. So while we're looking at BTS fan art, I actually did order another BTS fan art related thing. It's actually a BTS fanzine and I pre-ordered this ages ago and it finally arrived. So let me get that package so we can take a look at that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is that fanzine. So let me get that open. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I ordered a BTS fanzine, so here it is, but I ordered the bundle set, so it came with a bunch of little goodies. So why don't we take a look at the goodies first, and then we'll take a look at the fanzine. But my gosh, you guys, look how pretty it looks. I'm going to do a full flip through of this, and it's a lot of pages, so I'm going to speed through that. But first, let's look at these. So yeah, let's look at the stickers first. These are so cute. So in the bundle you got two sheets of stickers, so this is them from Idol, adorable, and then them in their little animal onesies, how cute. <laughs> I love that Yoongi is a cat, and JK is a bunny, aw, Tay is a tiger, that is so fitting. So so cute. <laughs> so yeah, those are the stickers, they're too precious to use, but we'll see. Oh my gosh. So look at this. It's hollow and it's shiny. Let's see if you can guess who's who. Okay, so that's JK. That has to be V with his bandana. I'm guessing that's Jimin. Because look at his lips. Um, <laughs> well, I see he has big lips too, but that could be that could be Jen, I think. Yoongi. Oh my gosh, look at him in those fishnets. Namjoon in a crop top. I love it. And that has to be Hobie. So this is really nice. I love that. So pretty. Where would I put this? Probably like again. I like to decorate my photo card binders so that will probably go in there. And then you get another big postcard thing. <laughs> so wow this one's just as pretty. I love it. So yeah Makne line. This one's easy to tell. V, Jimin, Jungkook. Jin, Namjoon, Hobi, Yoongi. Look at the sass. <laughs> so pretty. This actually reminds me of Dionysus, but yeah. This actually came out before the whole Dionysus stage, so I don't know if that was inspired by something else. And yeah, let me get this open now. Okay, so one thing at a time. Let's start off with these. So these are such cute little prints, and the backs are just plain. Oop. This one just says Chic View Sunglasses Coupon. <laughs> Use this coupon for 40% off your order at checkout. Cannot be combined with any other coupons. <laughs> oh no, it expired before it even got to me. And ooh, I love this one. Look at that. So recently they actually did... Uh, BT Cosmetics like lipsticks. Oh um, my gosh, so pretty. And then, I'm trying to guess again who's who. Makne line and Jin, possibly. Very pretty. Okay, and then next up, you get this really cute lanyard. So, so cute. <laughs> By the way, I didn't mention the fan artists because I think a bunch of them collaborated on this. So, I'll leave the uh, Twitter in the description though. It's BTS Zines. That's where I ordered it from. I don't know if they're still doing orders, but yeah, I'm really happy that I was able to find this. And yeah, then you get an OT7 pin set, although I'm missing one. I counted and there's only six, so I'm really sad about that. I might message them and let them know, but it's okay if they can't replace it. I mean, this is really pretty anyways, but Missing a member is always sad. So let me see. Let's start off with J-Hope. So cute. And this is Jin. And Yoongi. And then we got V. So cute. And JK. 
And lastly, Jimin. So I'm missing Namjoon again. Really sad about that. I mean, I was looking around for it and it's not still in the package, I don't think. Nope, not in there. So, anyways, and then there's two more things. So, you get this. It's like a little keychain, I think. Let me get that open. Okay, so it's in the shape of an army bomb. So cute. <laughs> you can see Machne line in there with their little BT21 figures. Let me get one more. So this one's for Hyung line with their BT21 characters. Okay, so those are all the little goodies that you got in that bundle set. And so now onto the fanzine. So let me clear this up and then we're going to do a flip through for it. So really excited to show you guys. I'm excited to look through it too because I haven't yet. Okay, so that was the fanzine. Oh my gosh, it was so, so well done. Like, I can't believe that they were able to put all of this together, the amount of work that must have been done. And there's a lot of writing in here more than I expected, so I can't wait to go through and read all of that and find out who the other artists are. So yeah, I wish that they would bring this back out so that you guys can get your hands on it. It's so pretty and like I said once before in one of my videos that I don't collect um, enamel pins or things like that but I'm really into fan art as you can tell whether it's postcards, fanzines. So I'm really on the lookout for more of these because I'm obsessed <laughs> and I really need more of it. Alright, so let's move on to the next package. So let's open this one that I got from Amazon a few days ago. So. Let me just get my scissors. Okay, so not that exciting, but I got a bunch of top loaders. So I got uh, 425 packs, so like 100 total. I won't even bother getting that open, but I ordered this off of Amazon in case you guys are wondering, because I knew that I was going to have a lot of trading to do after this haul, so yeah, I needed to stock up on these. So, And the other thing that I got in that package is what I was most excited for, and it's this book called Comeback, a K-pop novel by Lynn Ashwood and Rachel Rose. So I was actually contacted by the authors on my Twitter. They had DM'd me asking me if I'd be interested in reading and reviewing their book. And after checking out the links that they sent me and re reading the blurb of the book, 
which you guys can pause the video here and check it out for yourselves if you're interested because I'm really crap at explaining what books are about without giving too much away. But yeah, so after reading the blurb, I was instantly sold and they were kind enough to send me a free copy of the book, which I then downloaded to my Kindle. So yeah, I initially read it from my Kindle, but I hate reading from this thing. Like I prefer having like physical copies of books. Same thing like with music. I prefer physical albums as opposed to like digital copies. I don't know what it is with me, but like the collector in me needs to have that on my shelf. So yeah, I told myself that if I really enjoy the book that I would order it, which I did. So yeah, <laughs> spoiler alert, I loved the book. And yeah, it really did exceed all my expectations because um, I've been in a reading slump this year, so it took me a while to finally pick it up, but when I did, I just couldn't put it down. I think it only took me like two sittings to complete, and to my surprise, it exceeded my expectations. Because, not gonna lie, I was expecting it to be like a light, fluffy, contemporary romance, like reminiscent of YN, like fanfiction, <laughs> which to be honest is what I was afraid of because that kind of stuff makes me cringe, but... This book was so much more than that. I mean, sure, it has some cliche K-drama moments, but it also discusses some serious issues like how losing someone or having unsupportive parents can affect someone's mental health, and the characters themselves are so lovable and you'll grow attached to them, especially the fictitious K-pop group Neon. It actually felt like I was reading about a real K-pop group, and there were times where I wanted to, like, stop reading and, like, check out their new music video. <laughs> yeah, I just really fell for the group and there's five um, members in this group including one of the main characters so yeah one of the main characters is named Emery and he goes by a stage name M and then there's four other members in the group I don't know who's supposed to be who well actually I think I know who this one is he's one of the rappers named Stu or that's his nickname his real name is Sunwoo but he goes by Stu and he's a redhead um, Australian and he's one of the rappers He's really funny. And then there's the Machne. I'm going to pretend he's the Machne. <laughs> so he's also one of the rappers and one of the main dancers. He's so cute. And he reminded me a bit of Jungkook because, um, as we know, Jungkook started off with BTS when he was 15. He joined the group and same thing with him. He mentioned that in his ending meant for one of the concerts and it really made me tear up because he was talking about how his youngs raised him and yeah that doesn't sound like bts to you like it was in a good way like it makes you draw parallels to your own favorite k-pop group which makes it feel more real and yeah then uh the eldest is jaehyun i think and then um the other member young nam he is the leader in visual so yeah you get to learn about the different members and it's fun. People who have reviewed the book would mention their biases and if you guys want to know mine, my favorite is Emery because I'm basic like that and you follow his perspective. Um, so yeah, you really get to know him, but I have a soft spot for the Machne, of course. So anyways, but you'll love them all. I love the group dynamic and they really feel like a family. They're the only family that Emery really has because his own family isn't supportive of his, um, career. They, they're not happy that he moved to South Korea to pursue a career in K-pop because um, he's from California. He's half American, half Korean. Same thing with our other main character. She's half American, half Korean. She's from Chicago, but she's a fan of this group called Neon. So her name is Alana. And if you guys want to see, this is a table of contents. So it goes back and forth between these two characters, Emery and Alana. So yeah, there's about 20 or 21 chapters and I like that they include a glossary for those who are not that familiar with K-pop or just getting into K-pop. It goes over like terms and things that are constantly being um, referred to in the book. So yeah, I thought that was helpful. And by the way, this cover art is gorgeous and it actually reminded me of some of the BTS fan art that even I collect. And when I was reading the acknowledgements, they do mention that it was done by a BTS fan artist. So that's her Twitter. And yeah, I'm just really in love with this book. I love that um, it's going to be a series because it's number one in a series. I don't know how long it's going to be, but I'm so happy that I can still follow these characters whom I've grown attached to. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. Like, I don't want to really give away the synopsis, but just know that I enjoyed it, and if you trust my opinion, you should definitely pick it up as well. Um, I know I will continue on with the series, and once again, thank you to the author. And you can tell how much they love K-pop themselves, like, they're huge fans, and 
yeah so anyways <laughs> enough about that let me move on to my other packages otherwise i can sit here and rave about this book all day Ooh. okay let me get the other package all right so here's the next package let me get that open I have no idea what this is, you guys. Okay, so I'm sorry for the awkward cut. I just got interrupted while filming because I got two new packages in the mail. My gosh, I am crazy. Actually, one of the packages, this one is what I was talking about earlier, that I ordered more uh, fan art prints from that artist over there. So yeah, going to open this one next. But getting back to what I was opening before, so this is all I got in that last package. So this completes my BTS Japanese discography, and it's their Wake Up album, the limited edition type B version. So yeah, so happy that I finally got my hands on this, and I got it used, but it's in really good condition. So yeah, if you want to take a look, those are the tracks. So as their first studio Japanese album, it has 13 tracks and two original Japanese songs, so The Stars and Wake Up. And then the type B version has the music videos to these. And yeah, so they look like such babies. I love it. And yeah, let me just get that open. There's really not much in these albums. You just have the CD on one side and the DVD on the other. And then you have a little photo booklet, which we can quickly look through. If I can just get this out. So anyways, yep. This completes my collection, although in just a couple of days they're going to release their new Japanese album, Light slash Boy With Love. Oh my gosh, baby. So yeah, I pre-ordered all four versions of those. And yeah, I think there's going to be a fan club edition as well, so gotta get that one as well. And there's going to be photo cards and postcards, so yeah, I'm really excited. I do love their Japanese songs, and they did release the uh, teaser or trailer for it, so... Their new music video looks so good, but yeah, so that's it. So yeah, when I first started collecting BTS, I never thought that I would collect their Japanese albums just because I figured it'd be too hard. And I mean, it did take me a long time, but we finally got there. Just takes a lot of time and patience and money, but we did it fam. So anyways, moving on to the next package. And yes, I'm so excited for this. I didn't realize she was going to mail it out that fast because I just ordered it like a couple of days ago. But yes, let's see. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Let me get that out. Alright, so let's look at them one by one. So this is the first one. This is actually the one that I was talking about that uh, made me place another order because she just released this on um, their anniversary date for Festa. So yeah, this is an OT7 holo card and I think it's inspired by C as well as Yungi's quote um, from Bon Voyage when he was saying, um, what a relief that we are seven, what a relief that we have each other. And anytime anyone posts like an OT7 picture and uses that quote, like... I instantly tear up because it's so true that they always have each other and yeah let me just shut up before I start crying <laughs> so anyways and then I decided to order some more of her um, fan art prints because why not and you know might as well since I'm paying for shipping for one so yeah this is tear so um, rap line love tear it's one of my favorite songs and then we also got mic drop so again, all of them looking pretty badass. And like I said, she has like a really unique style. So it doesn't like always 100% look accurate, but like I actually like that. Like she has her own twist, but you can still kind of tell who's supposed to be who. And then lastly, I got this other holo card and this is another Seesaw inspired print. So, or holo, very shiny and pretty. So yeah. Okay, so that's everything that came in that package, and if you guys are interested in her art, you should definitely check her out. Her handle is ZRankArts, both on Instagram and Twitter, 
So yeah, not sponsoring her or anything. I paid for all these items. I just genuinely love it. So anyways, let me clear all this up and we'll continue with this giant ass haul. I swear, this is going to be my longest haul. I still have, hold on, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Holy, I still got 13 packages. Okay, so I'm doing pretty okay on time. I think I can squeeze in three more packages into this first part of the video because we already know that it's going to have to be split into two parts, possibly three depending on how fast I go. So yeah, let's move on to the next Amazon package. And this looks pretty beat up. It's been sitting here the longest, I think, out of all the packages. So I'm hoping that everything in there is okay. So yeah, let me just get this open. All right, so let's see what I got. Yes, finally. So I got NCT 127's We Are Superhuman. And then I also got the collaboration that they did with Jason Derulo and Yixing from EXO, the Let's Shut Up and Dance, which is dedicated to Michael Jackson. At first I wasn't going to get this, but I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. And of course I love NCT and Yixing, so it only made sense. And I do collect NCT 127 pretty thoroughly, so I was like, why not? And it does come with an amazing postcard set. So, yep, I kind of got it for that. Honestly, not that crazy about the song. I think I only listened to it once, but yeah, I'm excited to get to this first because I want to see who I pull. Not that it matters because in just a second, you'll see that I also ordered the entire set for this, but yeah, let's just see who I got anyways. All right, so there's the cover. So yeah, this is the American edition because the Korean edition actually comes with like a little slip. So yeah, very little differences. I think this comes with the postcards that, ooh, wow, my pulls are right there. And I got the Doyoung set, which is very cute. But like I said before, I ordered the entire set. So if anybody's interested in buying his set for me, let me know because I'm gonna have dupes of this. And then, yeah, this is the postcard that comes with the um, American edition. So, yeah, very cool. And then we're not gonna do an unboxing because I feel like that's long overdue and everyone else has done it, but there's a mini poster. I don't know if that's exclusive to the American edition or what, but yeah, let's just do a quick flip through. So, yeah, I really love this comeback. I recently did see them in concert and they actually premiered Highway to Heaven at our concert in New York. So yeah, that was really special. So Highway to Heaven is my favorite track, but I also really like Fool and the outro is pretty dope too. I don't know, they're all good and Superhuman too. It definitely gave Shiny vibes, but that's a good thing because Shiny are legends and yeah. <laughs> so that was my superhuman album and let's move that aside and take a look at this so just a second while i open that dora and i accidentally kind of poked into the album but it's okay so I'm going to shelve it this way anyway, so you won't notice it, but let's get this out. Okay, so here's a photo book. This is going to be so weird to see Jason Derulo. Yep, <laughs> K-pop album. I don't know why I'm going through this page by page. I'm just really curious. I don't think I've seen unboxing for this, or if I have, I've forgotten, but... There is my boy. Okay, yes, now we're talking. So good looking. He actually also had a comeback recently. So good. What was it called? Honey? Gosh, I don't know if there is a physical release for it. But really excited. Oh my gosh, there's going to be so much EXO content because they have a new unit with Chenyeol and Sehun, and then we also have Baekhyun solo. Ooh, NCT. So yeah, I'm really excited. I already pre ordered those as well. Whoa, Taeyong is looking so picturesque. Look at his side profile. All of them look amazing. This is why I had to buy this. Just for like the pictures and the postcard set. So, yep, and these are the postcards. I don't know if I should put his in my EXO binder or put it with NCT. 
I'll just put his in XO and the rest with NCT. Wow, tail looks amazing. Do Young, so cute. They all look so good. Oh, Jungwoo. <laughs> I also call him Jungwoo and Jungkook. I don't know. He's so pretty. I can't. I can't get over it. Okay. So that's everything. And wait, I thought it came with a Jason Derulo. Oh, <laughs> there. Doing him dirty. I left him in the album, but there he is. So yeah, that's it for those two albums. Oh my gosh, so I was flipping through this book one more time as I was clearing everything up and I came across this picture of Michael Jackson at the end and I literally screamed. Oh, well, that's ironic because this is from his video Scream, but whatever. My MJ Trash ass is thriving. I love that. It's an album dedicated to him, so it's only fitting. And yeah, I'm just really glad that I got this, but I just wanted to share that. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, let's make some space for these photo cards now. So let me get that open. Alright, so we got the circle photo cards and the regular photo cards, so let's start off with the circle cards, I guess. So let me just get them open. Okay, so we're going to do one of those cool time-lapse things, so starting now. Alright, so that's everything that came in that package. So now I have the complete We Are Superhuman set. So as I mentioned before, these two will be up for sale. If you guys are interested, please DM me on Twitter. So my handle is sgtrades. So yeah. Alright, so last package for this portion of the haul. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I just got two things in that package. So first I got NCT 127's We Are Superhuman, the Kino edition, and then I also got um, One The Nine's debut album. So let's start off with NCT's because, yeah, I just opened a bunch of NCT stuff, so it makes sense to follow up on that. And then we'll look into One The Nine. So yeah, this is such a cute box. Most Kinos don't come in such good packaging. So I made an exception for NCT because I knew it was going to come with a really cute photo card set and they're my top three old groups. So yeah, I really don't want to get in the habit of buying Kinos, but I had to for them. So anyways. Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so normally for NCT, I do collect all members, but for the Kino, I know they're going to be expensive as hell, so I'm just trying to collect Taeyong for this, and I'll just trade if I don't get him, but okay, on the count of three, I'm really nervous because I know his card is going for really expensive. One, two, three. <gasps> God, no, I never pull him, but he came through for me. Oh 
my gosh this is the cutest card too i i just can't believe it normally i don't overreact like i try to keep my cool but i'm so so excited i was so ready to buy this photo card because i saw someone selling it on twitter but i was like no i have to wait to see who i pull in case something like this happens so i'm glad i didn't spend a fortune on that and yeah the rest of it is just this little accordion thing i'm sorry i'm just so excited for that <laughs> like i don't even care anymore i'm done but yeah this is also really cute but i'm just probably gonna keep it in the album and then it comes with the little kino and the instructions so yep You guys, this literally made my entire day. So, anyways, moving on to one the nine. All right, so yeah, I accidentally scratched the album again. I gotta find another way of opening them. Like I hate opening things on camera because I always rush to open it, but yeah, I'm gonna be more careful next time. Anyways, let's just get this open. All right, so confession time. This is another group that I recently got into, so I don't know the members yet. I just listened to the CD and fell in love with their sound. So yeah, <laughs> I'll learn eventually. Like I learn as I go. I don't try to learn up on a group and then start collecting them. Like if I like the music, I'll just collect it. So anyways, this is a pretty photo book though. And I told myself that I wouldn't get into any more groups, like, I wouldn't get attached to any more groups, like, I'll listen to them casually, but who knows. If I have time, I'll see if I can watch their show, because I know that they're on some show. But, yeah, <laughs> if I get attached, then I'm going to want to adopt them. When I adopt them, they're going to be, like, in my top group, and then I'm going to want to collect them. And it just spirals on from there, if you know what I mean, but, yeah, it's a nice photo book. And then we got the lyric booklet and then the photo cards so this is a big ass circle card <laughs> i don't know which pocket sleeve to put this in but i'll find something and then it comes with two photo cards so these are so cute you guys are gonna have to help me out in the comments to let me know who i got if you know if not i'll look them up or no i don't even have to their names are right there so that's so cute and then you get the standee so such a cute group picture and then the cd itself so yep that was that album and that's it for this part so let's just take a look at everything that i got <laughs> so yeah, that's it for part one of this haul. I mean, I still have like 11 packages to go, I think. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I got ten. Yeah, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, ten more packages left. So I'm going to try to squeeze all of that into just part two because God help me if this is going to be a three part video because I really hate editing myself. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next part. Bye.